So onto needle holders um, and some of the defining features of needle holders. Well, the jaw is really the, the you know the main thing that distinguishes a needle holder, and generally speaking, that's tungsten carbide, and that will be why these um, have a gold bow or gold bows on them. That is to give you that indication that the gold the gold bows mean that there's a tungsten carbide insert on the device. Other comments such as you know what laser etching might be there um, to give a bit of uh, insight into the different layouts of instruments. Obviously, what a ratchet is, we've discussed that already. Um, Mayo, Hagar, and Kral would have been very, very popular needle holders. Uh, obviously, uh, the Mayo needle holder being a very robust needle holder, and Kral would finer that you might see on uh, some of the finer sets, all the way down to some some, some of the plastic sets. Yeah, the yeah. one thing I always try to share with everybody is to remind them how important it is to inspect the needle drivers. Um, these needle holders, needle drivers, uh, are often one of the last instruments used in the surgery and often are not clean. Um, so they come down coated with bio burden, which can become a biofilm. But because of the different metals in the tip where the, where the jaws are, um, having stainless steel and then the tungsten carbide and then the solder, which holds the a tungsten carbide piece onto the needle driver, it's very susceptible to corrosion because of those three different metals reacting with one another as well. Yeah, I mean, that is really important. Actually, I've got an image a couple of slides on to sort of illustrate what Bob's, Bob's saying there. But, and again, it's, it's quite, because of the combination of different materials, it's quite hard to spot. So that's something that, you know, we'd recommend magnification for. Um, just yeah, just to say, gold handles would mean tungsten carbide insert, um, and uh, again on scissors, tungsten carbide will appear. It's not the same as on a needle holder. It tends to be um, brazed into the jaw. But if you have a look on your any of your scissors that you've got on your trays that have got gold handles, sort of hold them up to a light or under magnification, you'll probably see a sort of steady line down the down the jaw of the scissor, which would be an indication of tungsten carbide and um, uh, very, very, they're popular because obviously they last a lot longer because of the hard insert. So this is what uh, a close up of um, a tungsten carbide jaw on a needle holder would look like. Uh, obviously, as we say, check tooming in and checking the, um, the formation of the jaw, making sure there's no breakages. But the other thing which is useful to understand is that the reason you have different needle holders is they'll quite often have different jaws. So this graphic here just shows that um, a much finer needle holder, um, needle holder or needle driver jaw um, is designed for holding, uh, obviously, for finer procedures that are um, used in more delicate procedures, such as the micro jaws, the fine jaws there, which debake is obviously very, very common on um, cardiovascular trays. And then slightly coarser uh, jaws will be used on um, needle holders such as the Mayo Hagar, as we've mentioned, Kral Woods. Uh, and as, as manufacturers, when you're manufacturing needle holders, obviously you have to make sure it's got the right jaw that's suitable for the job as well. 